the ways that I have investigated energy medicine is to look at the fabric of the body, the, the way the tissues are made, the way the cells are made, and so on. And modern cell biology and modern biophysics have recognized a system in the body that, again, will not be found described in medical textbooks, but is there and is important. I call it the living matrix. It's a continuous fibrous system that goes everywhere in the body. It connects the connective tissue. The connective tissue, by its name, connects. And it really does connect. It connects all the parts of the body with all of the other parts. Some important uh, German and Austrian investigators, uh, Pischinger and Heine, uh, developed the concept, concept of the ground regulation system. They recognized that the connective tissue is the only system in the body that touches all of the other systems. So it goes everywhere. And what modern cell biology has taught us is that this extensive system, which is extracellular, which is outside of the cells, actually interacts with the surfaces of cells, crosses the surface of cells, and interacts with the matrix inside of the cells called the cytoskeleton and connects to the nucleus of every cell which contains the nuclear matrix and the genetic material. So all of these realms or domains in the body, the extracellular or connective tissue matrix, all of these connect with the cellular and nuclear and genetic domains, are all interconnected. If you ask a cell biologist about this, they will say, of course, we know that. So what? If you talk to a therapist about this, they get excited because they know that when you touch one part of the body, you're really touching the whole body and you can communicate with any part of the body. So this is, this is the living matrix concept. And it applies to the matrix around our bodies as well. We have an energy field matrix that surrounds us. And we also interconnect with another matrix that's profoundly important, and that is the matrix of space. And this is where quantum physics becomes very important, recognizing that all matter arises. All matter, everything in us, all the objects around us, the planets, and so on, all arise from the background, the space, which we used to call a vacuum. And we now know from quantum physics that it's not empty. It's a very busy place. And our relationship between ourselves and the space energy around us, the space matrix, is profoundly important. And we are beginning to see how quantum physics can help us understand how prayer and distant healing work. There are people who will say prayer and distant healing can't work because there's no mechanism. Well, it turns out there is a mechanism, and it's understood through quantum physics. Um, it turns out we don't need to have a mechanism for things to work. Um, bumblebees can fly. We don't know how they fly. Modern physics cannot explain how the bumblebee flies. But the bumblebee doesn't care. It flies anyway. So there are a lot of things that are true about life that we don't understand yet. That's the excitement of energy medicine, is that it demystifies. It can help us clarify various things that we don't uh, understand. And by the way, the story about we don't understand how bumblebees fly it turns out that's wrong. We do understand how bumblebees fly. It's not as mysterious uh, as people have thought it is.